Uh, good morning, everybody. Today is my topic is the custom of each of Vegas. And now you are going to discuss about that. Yeah, why is the importance of the esophageal cancer? Because it is the seventh leading cause of the death in malignancy. And it might be account for the one percentage of all malignancy and six percentage of all GA malignancy. So moreover, it's a common in China, Iran, South Africa, India, and former Soviet Union. What is the most of the incident rise started Steadily with the ages, is research that speaks in the six to seven decade of life. And male will be more prominent comparing to the female, is about is the 3.5 percentage. In VPD, the male is 1 percentage. In Africans and American males and white males, is around 5 to 1 ratio. Now, the incidence is worldwide. It's about the five lakhs in worldwide in 2007, and it was a 60 leading cancer in the men and nine leading cancer in the woman. In the US, 16,470 in 2008. The age is adjusted incident rate in men about 1.5 percentage per one lakh people, and women of 1.8 per one lakh people. And more of the black men have a highest incident and median age diagnosis is 69. So, it's commonly occurs adenocarcinoma. Now, according to about 50% of individual cancer in USA. And it might be associated with GRT, barrett esophagus, and obesity. Commercial carcinoma usually occurs in the middle third of the esophagus, the ratio of upper, middle, and lower is around 15, 50, 35. The adenocarcinoma is most common in the lower third of the esophagus, according for the over 65 percentage of the case. This uh, mortality shows a very highest range. What will, what will the risk factors of the getting of commercial carcinoma? Main thing is the smoking and alcohol is nearly about 80 to 90 percentage. Okay, and dietary factors and nitroso compounds, that is a animal carcinogen, a pickled vegetables, and other food products like toxin producing fungi, fetal thieving, and injection of very hot food and beverage such as a tea, and underlying esophageal disease such as achalasia, cardia, and Cosmic stress and tylosis. What is the genetic abnormality? Is P53 mutation and loss of 3P and 9Q, Halle, AM, and cycling D1 and AMPL and EGFR. So, risk factors is associated with the chronic irritation and inflammation and dietary condition with nutrition factors and nitroso compound. Uh, from reduced dietary nitrate, zinc deficiency, potential nitrosamine defect, selenium which are protective. Then in high incidence area, drinking tap water, drinking hot beverage, and exposure to the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, like coal burning so has been shown to be an potentially carcinogenic. The coffee, fruit, peas, white, May, may be a protective for this. So, what will the GRD action is about the Lagrange at all? N E J E M in 1999. There's a Swedish population in based study, and patient was recurrent GRD symptoms as at for adenocarcinoma and risk increased with the frequency in severity and duration. And espalieri, what does it mean of espalieri? Espalieri has not been proven that espalieri eradication lead to new or recurrent GRD symptoms. Meta analysis to HP infection 
more likely in the chromosomal carcinoma than the adenocarcinoma. Barrett esophagus. Barrett esophagus is usually the stratified squamous epithelium. That it was replaced with the epithelial columnar epithelium. And overall, food risk is 4.1 percent than the thousand people per on year. When excluding the SGT or yearly incidence of cancer, the long segment, the annual risk of developing SCD or cancer is about 1 percentage and 0 0.5 percentage. And incident date of the cancer of STD is about a 10 percentage. The short segment risk is unknown. And this was the risk factors what we had discussed before that. While using tobacco using, alcohol using, ballot esophagus, and weekly reflux syndrome, that is a GRD, obesity peoples, achalasia cardia, and any cardiac injury, a plumber Wilson syndrome, and history of taking a spices food. And these are the basic causes that will be history of a breast cancer also in this, noted above. The risk factors in the adenocarcinoma. It associated with the ballot esophagus, that is GRD and IATL hernia. And the obesity might be in the three to four risk fold, and smoking is about a two to three fold risk. And increased esophageal acid exposure, like a Jollinger Ellison syndrome. Ballot esophagus is a metaplasia of the esophageal epithelial lining that. The squamous epithelium is replaced by a columnar epithelium is 0 0.5 percent and annual rate of neoplastic transformation. And what will the pathology of this main concept due to dysplasia? Low and high grade shows a similar cytological and architectural changes to commercial carcinoma and high interobserver variation and indefinitely, that is a true dysplastic what reactive changes, alpha methyl acyl coenzyme like the resmes, immunostraining of INPV. What is the pattern of the spread? You see, there is no serial covering. It might be due to the direct invasion of the contagious <coughs> commonly spread by a lymphatic. Lymph node involvement increasing with TCH, that is T1 and T2, is around about 14 to 21 percent and 30 to 60 percent. And 25 percent is what? 30 percent of hematogenesis, metastasis at the time of presentation. Most common site of metastasis are lung, liver, pleura, bone, kidney, and adrenal gland. The median survival with distance metastasis is around 6 to 12 months. So this is a picture shows what is cervical esophagus, upper thoracic esophagus, and middle thoracic esophagus, and lower end of the esophagus. These are all the points shows the percentage of this esophagus involvement, side by nodal involvement in this. What is the pathology classification? It can classify it into invasive and non-invasive. That is a pre-invasive neoplasia. In pre invasive neoplasia, the esophageal intra epithelial ne neoplasia, glandular epithelial dysplasia, that is adenocarcinoma and C2 in Barrett mucosa. In the invasive malignancy, 95% is of the commercial carcinoma and adenocarcinoma, and the other carcinoma remaining of the 5% is adenocarcinoma, carcinoma, mucoepidermide carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, carcinoma, a small cell carcinoma. Cochinite tumors, malignant melanoma, and sarcoma. It is a commonest associated with the symptoms. That is, we are going to talk about these clinical features. It is usually symptoms of the dysphagia, that by weight loss, that by pain will be there, that by anorexia will be there, and vomiting will be there. The symptom often starts three to four months before diagnosis. And this phase is more than 90% of the patient is adenophagia in 50% of the patient. And there will be weight loss in more than 5% of the total body 
within 40 to 70 percentage. Okay, patient associated with the worst prognosis. What is the progressive dysphagia, adenophagia, chest pain, radiating back, hoarseness of voice, aspiration, and MDMH? This is the commonest symptom we can know. And this is according to the American Journal Classification, with the TNM staging classification. What did tumors, node, and metastasis? Node and metastasis, tumor source, and T1A, T1B, TN, TNB, like that, okay? And this is a squamous staging carcinoma. Early diagnosis, confirmation by doing in barium shallow. Is it fish weak? Shows the erectile appearance or dial pilling defect. Or uh, there will be dilatation of the esophagus. Then visualize dilate visualized by the upper endoscopy called also called as esophagus gastric duodenoscopy or uh, EGD endoscopy gastric duodenoscopy allowed also called an esophagogram bronchoscopy involvement of the any lung involvement because the main complication there will be metastasis over the lung and biopsy can be prepared for the diagnosis and molecular testing of the tumor and CT scan and CT scan and MRI scan to rule out the secondary and positron emission tomography. That is a PET scan is very important nowadays to confirm the diagnosis of this here is a fragus. It is a non-invasive procedure to be pursued. See, this is a workup. We are seeing the pictures in these three sides. It is an endoscopic picture. See, there's a second picture, the second picture of the circumferential, circumferential alteration of the each person. Are you able to see this? Yeah, are you able to see this? This is a circumferential alteration of the each person. This is a malignant ET. This is a superficial cancer. See, what is this area source? Anybody knows about this area source? Because this is an, this is an, what? Before ending to the ant antrum, we can see this. This is the pyloric opening will be there. This is the malignant structures of the esophagus for confirmation of the diagnosis by the endogastrotube endoscopy and biopsy can be confirmed from the incisor and presence of the barred esophagus. And bronchoscopy to rule out the fistula in the mediastinal lesion. See, it's a bronchoscopy. This is a bronchoscopy to rule the fistula here. See, this is a source and see, that's a filling defect here. No, this is kind of a rectal appearance in the lower end of the esophagus malignancy. In the middle third, there will be filling defect. And see the ulcerated type. See the ulcerated, you are seeing the ulcerated type. No, then this is an apple core appearance. This is on the upper end of the east of the apple, core apple, and basic investigation, routine investigation, CBC and LFT to be done. CBC and LFT to be done. Then this is a bearing solo, solo light. See, fluid. See, this is a bearing looking. This is a medigan and see, the shorts and filling defect. This area will not be able to put in the see this very important picture. Okay, are you able to understand this again? It's coming with it because it, this is called a filling defect of the barium solo. And this is another beautiful picture. We are showing these sisters. See this middle end of this, the filling defect, alternative pro alternative growth of the middle middle side. And see, this is a dilatation of this area. Might be shows and uh, what esophagus, barred esophagus. Okay, this shows a rectal appearance. Then the fluid is coming like this. The narrowing spaces look like a rectal appearance. And this is a different feature, so there are different excess of this. And it's a cancer esophagus completely replaced. Esophagus, see this is one, feeling different. Okay, are you able to change the fine? No. Yes. 
So the bearing follows single contrast with irregular fixtures. Irregular fixtures of the lower reach of the JD is more than about a three thick and mucosal fold. And this is the same different pictures. Seeing in lower end of each of Vegas, fiddling defect. See, this might be you can say as a corrosive structural fluid. If any patient will have an corrosive poison, it totally damage of the entire each of vagal. So there will be filling defect. You are able to see the, the that's uh, ulcerative growth and filling defect. It, uh, it might be, you can say, this is a fistula formation. This is a fistula formation. This is an esophageal endoscopy. What is your management? Three weapons, always three weapons in surgery of our field. One main by a surgery, second by a radiotherapy, and third by a chemotherapy. The management depends on the conditions the site of the disease, essence of the disease involvement, and comorbid condition, and what is the patient's preference for this. The type of the surgery will have different types of surgery in each of the That is, trans iatal each of the right thoracotomy, that I will do this procedure, left thoracotomy, that is a radical end block of the resection. This is a surgical procedure. What you do in the trans iatic esophagotomy or tumor anywhere in the gastric gallia, no thoracotomy to be present. Blend dissection of the thoracic area, left and cervical anastomosis, limitation of the lack, and mid esophagotomy visualization and the dissection of the subcranial lymph node cannot be performed. See, this is a trans-iatal What we are doing, we are cutting the up of this surface. This is a sampler you are using, trans sampler. Okay. And this is a tumor. This is a tumor. So we are cut it by a sampler. I will explain you later on. See. If it is go for cervical opening, this is a thoracotomy opening. See that the procedure can be a tumor seen in the distal esophagus. Tumor seen in the distal esophagus. See, a thoracotomy procedure, right here thoracotomy. I will review <coughs> each of the me that is, we have to go for right here thoracotomy. And the and approach of the midline incision. I had to go for midline incision. We can approach of this surgery. We can approach of this surgery. Left thoracotomy. See the line of the pericardial clinic now. The cross clamp of the iota. Applying this is the iota clamp. Okay. And chemotherapy. No data providing that chemotherapy alone provided the survival or palliation. Partial response, long-term long Indication used in the combination with the radiotherapy for locally advanced cancer, uh, used as a single treatment mortality in stage 4 disease, in advanced stage, stage 4 disease. Okay, combination of the chemotherapy has been used preoperatively. It is combined with the mortality Approach to the each visual carcinoma in hope of controlling occult metastasis disease and improving the rejectable rate. And what is the regimen in chemotherapy you can prepare? A, nowadays, a paclitaxel and carboplatin is the commonest drug we can give in a regimen of the chemotherapy. Six platin and five fluorouracil. It can be given an archiplactin and 5 FFU and pactylactin and tactylactin and cisplactin and carboplatin and 5 FFU and these are abirucin, cisplantin and 5 FFU only on the adenocarcinoma. 
this is what is the dose energy chemo radiation radical therapy radiotherapy and dose limitation the application using in this what is this source what is this piece of source this is piece of source if there is a closure pulling different we have to introduce the chain we have to dilate all this structure we have to dilate see this is a dilator this is the you should forget uh, introducing inside that we introduce of this this is the balloon what is the biggest balloon for the lower end of the each of the radio therapy for carcinoma external radio stimulation film this is the film source and external lumen and intraluminal radio therapy is a vasectomy surgery during an open use of vasectomy the surgeon removes all or part of the esophagus through an incision of the neck cis or abdomen the esophagus is replaced using another organ most commonly the stomach have to pulled out to the up to the neck and occasionally the small and larger intestine which of esophagus to me is esophagus to me bleeding infection cough leakage from the surgical connection of the esophageal and stomach and changes in your voice, acid or bile reflux, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, respiratory complications such as pneumonia, and swallowing difficulties like dysphagia and atrial fibrillation and might be leading to death. Thank you. Thank you.